Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And today I'm going to be working some more in my journal that I've just started. It's called Woodland Wonderland. And I've got the cover basically all completed until I'm ready to start sewing in the signatures. So I'm going to set this aside for now. And today what I want to do is work on the journal or the uh, signature covers. So I have my supplies right here. This piece, um, in fact all the journal or signature covers are going to be made out of wallpaper. So I've already stenciled on a little bit on the front here. I've sewn around it. I've inked around it a little bit and I decoupaged a napkin on the inside. And on the back, I tried this little experiment that I saw on Shinuki Art, uh, and I'll link her video below to show how I did it. But I, so, but on the front here, what I would like to do is um, put this beautiful green woodpecker that came from Edith Holden's Diary of a Country Lady. So I'm gonna start by collaging this on. I'm just gluing this on. I'm going to use my uh, collage medium. I'm also going to put some of the Tim Holtz die cuts on here. I've got that one and this one. So for this though, I'm going to use my art glitter glue because it has a smaller tip. And this one I uh, cut out on some adhesive backed mat, but I don't necessarily trust the adhesive. So I'm going to pull the backing off and put some glue on here as well just to encourage it to stay. Then I also have some phrases. It's a saying by Albert Einstein. There are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and one is as though everything is a miracle. So I'm going to get that down here. I think that's a good way to look at life. Everything is a miracle. Because there are lots of bugs in the woods, I'm using some of the buttons that I made a couple of weeks ago. I have a video on that, which I will link below and also at the end of this video. And we're going to put them down right there. And then a couple of other interesting elements. One is this little lock. Because when you think nothing is a miracle, it kind of locks you up. But if you think everything is a miracle, then it's like a key. A key to looking at things in new and different ways. And life is a gift. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside and get started on the next one. And that's this beautiful one. Okay, so I, I have a video of how I made these leaves. These are real leaves from my yard. And I decoupaged on them and sealed them. And today, we're going to use them as pockets. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. And then these will be pockets for tags. I have this cute little bunny stamp because you find lots of bunnies in the woods. Well, actually, we find lots of bunnies in our yard. But our cat is a hunter and she likes to pretend to stalk them, but she they're far too fast for her. So I'm just going to ink up the edges of this with some vintage photo and put this one down in the corner. And then up here at the top, 
I'm going to get some, uh, some book page here. For this, I'm going to use a little bit more collage medium. So in some of the Facebook groups, I ask the questions, you know, which <laughs> uh, two different types of, you know, if I wanted to put these little birds that I fussy cut out of this little book that I have, or a butterfly die cut. And uh, the winner for this is the birds, so they're going to go down here. I love designing Co uh, journal covers or pages in general or it's just so satisfying to see everything come together and somebody said they didn't want to see the flower covered up so I'm not going to cover up the flower I'm just going to put him right there so we have that little crocheted flower and apparently I forgot to put the lace down I use fabric tack for this but that's okay I'll use the lace somewhere else Okay, we're going to call that side done. And I think I want to put it under a heavy book to get make sure that I get good contact uh, with these leaves. So I shall be right back. Okay, while those two are drying, we're going to start on signature cover number three. And this is this beautiful floral wallpaper. Um, I have also decoupage the napkin on the inside of this one and this one is just a gorgeous napkin I just love it but on the front I'm going to put several layers and you might think well why is she covering up all the <laughs> all those beautiful flowers but when you know when you're in the woods one thing that you'll notice is that the forest is in layers you have to look through things to see things and so that's how I designed this signature cover. You see things and you hear things and that's part of what makes the woods and the forest so beautiful. So I'm going to put down some of this uh, music book page because when you hear the birds sing, isn't it beautiful? It's like it's music. Use the collage medium. Whenever I go into the forest on a hike or camping, I am in my happy place. I used to do a lot of backpacking when I was younger and um, in California and some here in Western Washington too. And it was just so much fun. Just the the different things that you see and the animals and the, the wildlife. There was one experience though <laughs> that I thought was uh, maybe not my favorite. There was a place I went backpacking in California in the El Dorado, um, was it El Dorado? Anyway, I can't remember ex ex which forest it was in, which national park, but there was a, a, a place called Pinecrest and if you go, it had a lake, and if you go back beyond the lake, uh, there's a big, huge boulder field. And the boulders all had um, arrows on them, so you knew basically which way you were supposed to go. Or so the theory went, anyway. And um, so, you know, we hiked back in there for miles and miles and miles. It wasn't a backpacking um, adventure we were camping in the campground but we went for a hike on the way back we got lost <laughs> and um, we ended up literally going down uh, like a rabbit trail through the brush we had crawled on our hands and knees we're trying to find the trail and at the end of this little rabbit trail <laughs> was a huge ravine and the ravine was shaped like this if you can see my hands and so we're on the top and there was this tiny little ledge just big enough for us to stand on for our feet to stand on there was brush behind it and there was probably 12 feet between this spot and that spot down and across 
And I was really afraid <laughs> to jump that far. I just knew I was going to kill myself. There was only one spot to land on the other side that was flat enough to where you wouldn't fall down the rest of the ravine. And I don't know how deep the ravine was. I can't remember, but um, it's just all granite. So who wants to <laughs> fall down a bunch of granite? But anyway, so he jumped first and made it. And I was pretty much scared to death. Oh, I don't want to put this down yet. See, I get to talking and then all of a sudden I'm forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, he jumped and there was no way I was jumping. I was up there. I was crying. I'm saying, just call the helicopter to, to come and get me. I'm too afraid to jump. And then all of a sudden behind me, I heard some sort of a weird growl. And knowing as I did that there were wild boar up in that area, that uh, scared me more than the ledge. And I jumped because <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a wild boar, but there was a pub in the area that had a wild boar head on the wall. And when I saw that, I was like, I am not messing with a wild boar. So jump I did, landed in the right spot, <laughs> thankfully. I, I never saw what it was that growled, so I have no idea what it was. But landed in the right spot, climbed out of the ravine, and uh, proceeded to look for our trail, which was just around the bend. So that was successful, <laughs> but scary. That was probably the worst experience I ever had backpacking. Um, so, but just being in the forest is one of the, one of my favorite, absolute favorite things to do and places to be. There just isn't anything like it. So that's why I'm putting these on in layers. This, this little stamp here, if you can see, is deer. And then have the little butterfly there. And I like this little piece of, it's kind of a wire ribbon sort of, but it's very soft. And it reminds me of the sphagnum moss that we would see hanging from the trees. And um, so I thought I would put some of that on here as well to give it some texture. Okay, and then I also have some of these little fabric leaves that I wanna put up here in the corner. And I just thought this fit in the forest theme as well as another one of these little crocheted flowers that was in the same bag of stuff. Also, when you go into the forest, it's time to reflect. So I thought this was a button and I just took my little, um, have this little thing where I cut the, the shank off. And there's one more little thing that I wanna add and it's this little safety pin with a butterfly charm. And the reason I wanna add this is because when I, whenever I'm in the forest, I always feel like it's fixing everything. And that's sort of what safety pins do. So I, I love the way this came out. And if you look at some of the wording on the bottom there, it says, the very soft harmony placed high, the sol solo of this exquisite beauty, sunshine, mountains, and valleys. And then there's the music from the bird song. So I love the way this particular signature cover came out. So um, I'm going to take a little break for a minute and let everything dry because we have the other side and the insides to do. So I'll be back soon. All right, everything is all dry now and I'm ready to continue working on these signature covers. And so for this one on the inside, I am just going to put some lace in there for some belly bands. 
So I'll go ahead and get these cut. Now this is an easy, easy way to finish this one off. Okay, this one is now ready for pretty pages. So I'm going to set this one aside and we can start on the next one.